are you? I'm very good, Gabby. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, Valentina. How are you doing? Before we start, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Brazil because I have the impression that you've been here so many times. Yeah, I've been a bunch of times. I was obviously very excited about the press tour for Godzilla vs. Kong. I was, you know, we were supposed yeah. to come down, come down to Brazil and do a big premiere and a party. Unfortunately, okay. obviously okay. we can do that. So, so we got to make do yeah. with just a Zoom call. As soon as things open up, I'm, I'm coming back to Brazil. Welcome to my house in Mexico City. <laughs> I was like about, I was like, are you in London? No, oh, I'm in Mexico City and I have a Leo behind me and then- Oh, wow. Is this what your house? Is? Yeah. I love it. Um, Look I'm at my boring a... home. I need your Leo painting right here. It is pretty amazing, isn't it? It's beautiful. Thank you for your time, Alexander. And I need to start by asking you, you know, you're playing a geologist. I'm kind of curious if, whether or not you need to understand everything you're saying perfectly, or is it just make-believe? I understood maybe 3% of all the, the technical jargon of, of what I was saying. It's not like I studied and became a geologist before the, shooting the movie in, in prep. That's all, all pretend. But I did, I did really enjoy the fact that he was a geologist and a cartographer and was not a big, strong, tough guy. He's not like a military guy. It makes it scarier uh, because you feel like you don't know if he's gonna make it or not. He's never been on a journey like this before. We need Kong. The world needs him to stop what's coming. What are the kinds of uh, activities that you and the cast could do to spend your time and wait for your next scene? The sets were so huge and so much fun. Yeah. Like it was basically an amusement park. When we were in the heave, that flying spaceship, it was on a gimbal. So it was basically like being in a, on, a, on a roller coaster. And um, when we were on the, 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 the deck of the ship, on the bridge when, when you know mm -hmm. they submerged the whole thing in water. So for basically two weeks, we were in a swimming pool, just swimming around. We probably had a bit too much fun sometimes. Cause just, <laughs> you know, we had to remember to like, oh, we, we gotta shoot a movie as well. We can't just play around. And this child, she's the only one he'll communicate with. Something that I loved in a movie, of course, are the scenes with Godzilla and Kong fighting, but also the scenes where you and Rebecca are with the young actress Kaylee. And yeah. I wanted to ask you a little bit about how it was to work with such a strong, young and cute actress. Kaylee is extraordinary. She's so much fun and it's her first film, but she's so comfortable in front of the camera. The most important role in the entire movie because she's the one who can connect, who can communicate with Kong. She is instrumental to make this whole journey work. And it, it, it was just wonderful to watch Kaylee take that responsibility. And she, she's, she's, you know, fantastic in the film. She had nowhere to go, so I made a promise to protect her. And I think that in some way, Kong did the same. I feel like monsters are often created kind of like myths and legends to uh, try to explain things that maybe we don't understand. What do you think in this context these monsters say about us as species? We believe that we are the apex predators on, on, on the planet. We act as with impunity. We can treat the planet any way we want. We can use all the resources with no repercussions. In a way, I think Godzilla and Kong, they are reminders that what happens when you, when you mess with that balance, it's, it's a humbling experience. We're definitely not the apex predators we think we are. There can't be two alpha titans. 